this is my setting, guys. So, the thing with the scooter, guys, is that I thought to myself, when I do these walks, you know, many times there are like uh, downhill pieces that are very, very long, you know, and they would be uh, so much faster if I had the wheels, you know. So, uh, there's potentiality in this walk, guys, to see some serious snow also, and it will be uh, a miracle if I will be able to survive when I will be in the refuges in the mountains. Managed to arrive to this town, which is called Mentana. Here is the map of Mentana. Per campanellino, eh? Il campanellino lo porta per due motivi. Uno perché ci stanno i cinghiali e per spaventarli. Ah, perché, perché sennò lo potrebbero attaccare i cinghiali? Ah, se sente il rumore il cinghiale scappa. Il cinghiale ah, okay. attacca solo quando ce l'hanno i piccoli. <ride> e, e il secondo motivo perché lo portano? Siccome, siccome il genere umano è bastardo. Eh, che non lo so. I'm here sleeping with my sleeping bag down in the bottom of, of this thing. So this is the town where I slept uh, last night. Uh, it was this church here. So now I'm heading to the to this hell here, guys. It was extreme to get here, guys, but I made it. I made it because for me spring water is it is uh, it's, uh, vital. This city, this town is called Monte Flavio. It was something, guys, very hard. Rain and hail and whatnot. So let's see if um, this town will be positive for me. So this was the the hardest day. What's your problem? <coughs> I'm doing nothing to you, man. <coughs> Come here, bro. Come here. Come here. <coughs> Come here. <coughs> Beautiful. This time I have also the uh, remote, so I can like zoom like this. Amazing. Yeah, get this, man. So this is my system, guys. So look at this, guys. It's charging like crazy, this uh, radio. I found this uh, metallic thing on the ground. And so with the saw, I just made a hole there, a channel, so to speak. You know, where I can put the bread and, you know, and uh, put it on the fire there. So this guy wants me to talk about God, but you know, he doesn't believe in God and, I, and, and it's useless to talk about it. So can you believe it guys? This guy uh, lives, uh, uh, was born, you know, he was, was born in Italy, but he is from, uh, his origin is from the same town where I live, you know, in uh, Albania, the same town, you know, very rare, you know, to have something like this. Marco? Marco. Marco is the man that saved me <laughs> today. Marco, Susanna, Susanna, Angelo, e Angelo. The view from this uh, villa where I slept, it's amazing. This place is like uh, 600 meters high and you can see all the valley. It's extremely cold, as you can see, uh, there's snow, and it's snowing even here, where I am right now. This place is beautiful, man. As you can see, it's very windy and cold. I mean, why? Why the ship all is so dumb, guys? Why? So I was thinking, you know, maybe in this corner here, I'll put uh, the seats. They are different. So I am... Elevated from the ground, which is cold, you know. So this is the setting, guys, at the corner of the field. <laughs> Here's our player. That will uh, play with this setting. He will play with a green shirt, of course. And uh, will be powered by hand warmers. And a radio, just to <laughs> escape from reality. <laughs> And uh, this is an antenna that uh, helps the radio to reach even more. And I will see in the temperature, it's already below zero. Freezing temperatures here, guys. And uh, it will get worse. So, uh, let's see if I will get a life from this thing. So, it's 7 a.m., guys. I'm still here. I kind of made it, you know, as you can see. Just because I was covered like this. Otherwise, I would have not. This sleeping bag is rated for 15 Fahrenheit, which is like minus 9. 
and I I must say you know that yes it's it's rated well you know it made it I was barely comfortable because I was at the, at the limit of this sleeping bag you know because the temperatures were uh, below zero for sure the uh, the water here I can hear it's still liquid but has some ice you know so you know barely alive guys uh, I made it and uh, let's go so this thing is the the brand uh, it's a winter thing and uh, you know I think it it, it did what it uh, because sometimes that they say they rate them as like minus nine as in this case but they you try it and it doesn't work so I think this sleeping bag passed you know the hardest uh, test that I went through which was this one here because it was definitely cold you know and uh, yes I slept very well guys I mean I slept uh, until the uh, sun went down and and I woke up or when the sun uh, ro rose again how do you say so another a day of high pressure cold day and uh, this is the last day of cold they say and then the temperatures will rise a little bit so hand warmers also uh, were were uh, definitely needed uh, without this I put those uh, I put them in, instead of in my hand that uh, I had lots of pockets where to put them I put them in my uh, toes of my feet how do you say and so they work well they work well so I guess if I didn't use this uh, the sleeping bag um, in my feet I would feel some uh, cold but yes, overall guys, we're still here, still alive, and uh, I will continue with you on the next day, guys. Bye. This is where I slept, guys. This is a dome made of plastic in the middle of the mountains. So I don't know if you can see it, guys, but it's starting to snow really lightly, you know. It's beautiful <laughs> with the sun. Now I definitely need to make some new sticks. Commander Rockwell. Ask me where are you going? You know, the usual bro, in the mountains away from the sheep as much as possible until they stop us somehow. This is Fonte Colombo Sanctuary. Yeah, I was very lucky guys they gave me this. Really, really lucky. Uh, it's it's like having a hotel room, you know, all for yourself. They told me, you know, we store some um you know, things to clean your teeth, you know, cold gut and whatever, and hand sanitizers. So if everything goes fine, guys, I will have some rice now. I was thinking that in a few years, uh, these monuments will be changed. Instead of the Nazis, they will see the the dumb morons that fell for the corona, you know, just like this dumbest fell for the Nazi lie, you know, and went and, and fought. The morons of today will go and take the test and take the vaccine and they will be their name will be put here they will say moron sheeple uh, x died of uh, 33 years old because he was a moron sheeple in the cage relaxing in their cage man it's working i hope we'll make this thing boil it says only 10 minutes. I got some salt and some herbs there and uh, oh, it worked well. Yeah. With the snow I will wash it myself. Because you cannot do it in the park when you are in the city. Because the cops will come guys. And will see you as uh, someone crazy. You know? And so you do it in the woods. You clean yourself. You make yourself like this. You know, Because if they see you that uh, like a crazy guy. They would not, uh, the sheep will only look at the appearance not the substance of a human being so that's why you have to go along with this BS you know <laughs> so I found this uh, refuge in uh, like thousand meters high guys so you need to break to break the wood you know so all you get inside that is drier 
And you can do this with the knife, like this. Start the fire. Uh, this is, uh, it should be uh, Monte Terminillo. Unbelievable guys, for free. Unbelievable. So, the water is boiling, uh, the, the wood luckily is uh, dry, so we're gonna have some rice here guys. So, uh, this is Stroncona guys, Stroncona. Guns, the guns. As you can see guns and uh, there is uh, wine Italian wine guys Nostrum Vino Secco we are in Umbria here guys I left Lazio I'm in Umbria another region of course I should not be here according to the, to the reptilians so there's a place to make the fire which of course I will not do uh, I got this place guys and um, let me tell you so I usually do not bother private people, you know, like in this case. Uh, I usually go to the priest because they have the space, that's why. Not because I like them. They have the space and they should help, you know, someone that is just asking for a corner or to sleep. But this uh, Franciscan priest this time were very nasty guys. He didn't accept not even to let me sleep outside the church in a covered place unbelievable guys as you can see right now i'm uh, outside my region this is my region as you can see the lines here it's like in us we have the states these are lines that uh, especially now with the covid and everything the sheeple should not cross and i just crossed one guys as you can see here so and i'm planning to cross uh, others of course Dumb sheep with a muzzle. Now I find myself here, guys. This was a room that uh, it was used by the Pellegrini, people that walk like me. But since there's COVID right now, guys, nobody uh, uses this anymore. And so he was like amazed. He, he, he told me, how come they do not stop you? You're still able to, to, to walk, you know? I got this for free. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Thank you, God.